Hello guys, welcome back to Primal Pokemon. It is me, Kyogre, and today for you, I have a new deck that I've made. Sorry if I'm going quiet, I'm moving away from the microphone for some reason. All right, so this deck is my take on Glespagia. Man, I'm running out of breath. I need to breathe. Okay, so first of all, if we're playing Glespod, we need four copies of the Wimpod from Burning Shadows, the new set. Now, I feel that this one is the best. Um, its first ability, um, Wimp Out, during, <coughs> yeah. during your opponent, during your first turn, I can speak, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. That means that this Pokemon, instead of having three retreat, which is massive, it only has um, three. So that, I think, is very, it's quite useful in some cases. Um, we play four copies of Golvisified GX. Now I know that's expensive to get, but tell me, uh, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. Um, this is the main attacker. You really don't have any other attacker in the deck. That uh, this is what you want to have, and most of the time you want two of them out on the on your board at all times. So four of them, I say, is the best. If you can only play three, then only play three. You can play Revitalizer if you need to. Um, we play two copies of Fomantis um, and two copies of the Lorantis promo card that came in the blister pack thing. Um, this is to help boost up your Galissapod's attack um, with the Sunny Day ability. It says the attacks of your grass and fire Pokemon do 20 more damage so that means you're boosting first impression which normally does 120 if it became active this turn um now it does 140 with one or 160 for a single energy if you have two lorantis out and that's without using um choice man um we play one copy of tapu coco since um What's its name? Glissopod can hit for some weird numbers sometimes. Um, we can just use Tapu Coco and spread some damage around with Flying Flip. There's 20 damage to all of your opponent's Pokemon for just the double colorless energy. And it has Free Retreat, which is very useful in this deck. Um, next, we play one copy of Tapu Lele. If you have to, you can play two. Now, I, don't, I particularly don't have to, I just have the one. I recommend playing two, um, so there's that. Um, now time for the supporters. We play four copies of Professor Sycamore, two copies of N, the normals. So yeah, um, Sycamore just helps you draw, um, and if you're really stuck, you just use Sycamore and um, can help you, or you can use it to disrupt your opponent. Now this may seem surprising, uh, but we play four copies of Guzma in this deck. Um, now what Guzma does is it's basically Lysander, but with a switch. Um, when you use it, you switch your own bench Pokemon too. Now at first that doesn't seem um, that particularly good, but think about it. Galissapod is all about switching the actives. You can bring up a Pokemon on the bench, switch your own, and you're off and rolling. Um, we play one copy of Bridget. This is your main um, setup supporter. You want to play this your first turn. Ultra Ball, Lele into Bridget, and then Bridget just grabs you three Pokemon, three basic Pokemon and it's very, very useful for setting up. Now we play one copy of Acerola. I'm thinking about playing two. I don't know though. What Acerola does is you can pick up one of your damaged Pokemon. This has saved me um, in quite a few games. 
I had a damaged Galissapod in the active, no energy in my hand, and um, I couldn't get um, the bench Galissapod that I needed to attack. I just acerolaed, picked up the Galissapod, attached the energy, put it into the active, and bam, we were just, it saved me. We play one popper, po one copy of Professor Kakui. You get to draw two cards and do an extra 20 damage during your turn. That can help you boost damage to Galissapod's first impression. Sorry about that, that was a weird noise. Um, we play one copy of Hala. This may seem weird, but um, usually Galissapod, you use your GX attack um, closer to the beginning of the game. Uh, so mainly you're shuffling in, grabbing seven, which is pretty nice. Um, next to the item cards, we play four copies of Ultra Ball. No surprise there. We play two copies of Switch. There. Um, we play four copies of Puzzle Time. Um, this can help you get Energy or Galissapod that you discarded earlier in the game back into your hand. Uh, yeah. There. Um, you have two copies of Choice Band. These are your main item cards for um, attachment, attachment, gosh, I can speak. Um, we also play two copies of float scones. Um, so what float scones do is they give you free retreat and choice bands do an extra 30 damage to Pokemon EX or GX. Both of them can come in handy and sometimes you need choice band, sometimes you need um, float stone. And if you can't attach a choice band when you need a choice band, or if you can't attach a float stone when you need a float stone, that's what these guys are for. Field blower. You can disrupt your opponent, or you could help yourself by just field blowing away a choice band or a float stone if you need to, and just attach a choice band or whatever. Um, so yeah, that. Um, now we play two copies of Max Potion. Max Potion can give a nice little surprise to your opponent. Because you only, you mostly are only attaching one energy to Velocipod, you can just um, retreat, not retreat, somehow switch into a Pokemon and just Max Potion away all that damage and you're only discarding one energy. So it can be a nice little surprise. Your opponent probably won't be expecting a Max Potion. Um, escape rope is, um, I've used it sometimes, um, it's really just kind of a last resort. If you can't get out of the active in any other way, you just escape rope and your opponent can switch. Super scoop up is in the same, re is the same reason that ace roll is here. Um, I would replace, uh, this with another ace roll. I just don't have another ace roll with me. Um, so, and we play one copy rescue structure, because, yeah. Now time for the energy. We play one, two, three, four, in there, six grass energy. I think this is enough, like, the trainer cards is really, you need a lot of trainer cards, because, um, You need a lot of trainer cards because, because Galissapod needs a lot, lot of ways to retreat. Is that six energy? Huh. Okay, that's weird. All right. You play four copies of Double Colorless Energy. So, that's my take on Galissapod. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, um, something? Anyway, oh, I never know what to say at the end of these videos. Okay, anyway, just hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, I guess. Yeah, it's a weird thing. I don't know. I don't really like asking you to hit the like button. 
I just like for you guys to enjoy my content. Um, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. That's the fourth time I said that. Um, yeah, anyway, peace out.